Welcome back everyone to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in today's episode we will be able to change our vehicle wheels during the gameplay and everybody will be able to see these changes happen real time. So the first thing that we need is a bunch of wheels. So I actually have four wheels right here, but only two of them are actually different. Uh, so for instance, I have this guy and then I have duplicates of it basically. So I have three wheels that are exactly the same. That's the same model. I just copy pasted uh, that one and I have a different one right here. Now I made some extra ones so that I could show you that the wheel size doesn't really matter in this specific example. Uh, they can be whatever size technically. And also I'm going to show you how you can adjust the sizes inside the Unreal Engine itself. This works for any static mesh. Uh, not sure about the skeletal, haven't really ever done it with skeletals, but uh, often you will find that you import a mesh in, and it doesn't fit the scaling. Either it's too big or too small and then you have to do some uh, code adjustments which sometimes is a little bit too much code so to say so uh, go ahead open up your model and have a look let's have a look at this one so we have the sizes 75 34 75 so that's the size of this specific wheel that's now let's make it smaller so let's go to the details scroll down till we find the LOD and then we have the build settings and we have the build scale over here so let's make this half the size so 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 and whenever you do that you gotta hit this apply changes and when you do that you will see that the wheel shrunk so now it's 37 by 17 by 37 so we have one smaller wheel as you can see tiny wheel and then let's make sure that we make this one bigger so i'm going to go again to the build scale and i'm going to set this to 1.5 1.5 1.5 and i'm going to apply these changes and you will see that now it is 113 51 to 113 and there is the actual difference in sizes so there we go we have four wheels and these are going to be our selections we will be able to go through all four of these options so now let's go ahead and let's start implementing these wheels into our vehicle now for this episode i will not have any uis uh, all the changes are going to be done for now on the mouse wheel later on uh, when we have more customization options well basically when we have all of them then we are going to bring them from like quick uh, keyboard or mouse key events to the actual widget itself uh, because well some of you might be very advanced and already uh, perhaps know how to s change these events into the widget ones so you don't have to bother wasting your time watching the video about which you don't really care so uh, with that being said let's go ahead and open up our sports car uh, and this is where i'm going to be saving all the possible modifications and ad adding all the code now unfortunate part about this is that this specific modification is only going to work for this specific vehicle uh, now for instance if you want to have the all the wheels possible for all the vehicles i strongly suggest that you keep those in, in the vehicle master but then in that case uh, what you would need to perhaps do is set up your vehicle wheel components so these guys right here inside your vehicle master but in that case uh, you need like the vehicle master for let's say like four wheeled vehicles um, yeah so I'm not gonna have any of that stuff here I'm gonna keep mine in this specific vehicle and then maybe if there are requests I can also set up some kind of systems that can use combined wheels and different wheels uh, using the interface system so first uh, we gotta create a database where we store our wheels so for that I'm gonna just gonna call this wheels wheel DB and I'm gonna change this variables type into a static mesh type because essentially we are just changing the static mesh and that's for now all that we really need the next thing is I'm gonna call this active wheel index uh, we will rename this later on probably and I'm gonna make this into an integer and basically this is going to tell us which wheel from the database we need to pick now this variable right here does need to be replicated because the wheel changes are happening on the server side and this uh, variable is living on the client so the server has to know what kind of a value there is so we need to replicate that so in the wheels database uh, if this is 
If you are planning to adding more wheels during the gameplay, during the runtime, then make this replicated. I'm not going to do so, so I can leave this at none. But I need to make sure that this variable is an array because I need multiple entries and I need four of those in this situation. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's start adding these wheels. So we have the wheel zero, we have the wheel one, we have the wheel three, and we have the wheel number four in our database. There we go. Now the next thing is we gotta make sure that we can change this active wheel index. And to do so, let's go ahead and let's create ourselves a custom event. And I'm gonna call this server change wheel index. Let's make sure that this event is ran on server. And then on this event, all we gotta do is just simply set our active wheel index and connect it like so. There we go. So now we have a server event, which is going to set our replicated variable. So that's good. Now we actually got to figure out what kind of a index we need to provide here. And for that, I'm just going to use a mouse wheel up and down. So we have this guy. And we're going to have a mouse wheel up as well. Now on both of these, I'm going to get the active wheel index. And from here, I'm going to do a plus, integer plus, in, plus one, and integer minus integer, minus one. Now, I want to clamp these values so that they are limited, so they don't go to like 100 and minus 50 or whatever. So I'm just going to run a clamp on the integer. I'm going to have the same one for the bottom ones as well. Now, the minimum value is going to be zero because arrays start with zero. So that's just fine. We can go down, uh, down till zero, but for the uh, maximum value, I'm going to grab the wheels database. And from this guy, I'm just going to simply get the length of it. Now, this is going to return us how many instances there are, but we need an index. So to get an index, all we got to do is just simply minus one on this guy. And then this can be our maximum value. So now this way, it is never going to go out of bounds. And it's always going to stay limited uh, to the amount of wheels that we have inside of our database. There we go. So we have this bit set up. Now what I'm going to do over here is run our server change wheel index. So on pressed, we can run our server change wheel index. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom as well on the mouse wheel up. And then let's connect our actual integer. So one over here and one over here here. There we go. So that is all ready to go. Now, the next thing that we need to set up is the actual mechanics for changing this uh, mesh for our wheels. Now, I might make a small mistake throughout this because right now I'm not quite sure exactly how the replication, because as of right now, everything seems to be functioning just fine. Everything is replicating properly, but I'm not sure how exactly it will work once we change something that is like a predetermined thing. Like in this case, we have the static mesh of the wheel, uh, of the wheel and I'm not sure if the component itself needs to be replicated, but we're going to figure that out in just a second. So first, let's go ahead and let's create ourselves a a custom event and we need to multicast uh, the whole thing across the network obviously it's going to come from the server event and then it's going to go to the multicast so right now we are going to create like the last step in this whole thing so i'm going to call this multi change wheel now this event right here needs to be a multicast event and from this what we can actually do is change wheel uh, change static change change static mesh that's what it's called so we want to change static me mesh for wheel one now but I'm going to remove this because on the multicast event I usually prefer to provide information from the server event otherwise on the multicast events if we if we would provide like like it like so, sometimes it will change the wheel for, well, I'm not sure with this plugin, but uh, in, the, in the past I have encountered issues that if I provide variables inside of the multicast events, it tends to change that variable for all the players. And that's not what I want to do. So in this case, I'm going to provide an actual variable here. So I'm going to connect the target right here. And I'm actually going to have four instances of this since we have four wheels so i'm going to do it like so and then i'm going to connect all the four all four targets over here 
and I'm going to rename these. So I will have a wheel because uh, mines are called wheel one, two, and three wheel. So wheel one, wheel two, and wheel three. There we go. And also we need the new mesh. But that one, we only need one because we're going to change all the wheels at the same time. Oh my God, that's ugly. Let me reconnect this. Well, it's still ugly, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. So we have this bit set up. So again, uh, the creators of the plugin have provided us with an amazing function, which does everything for us pretty much. All we got to do is just provide some parameters. And now we need to actually launch this and we want to launch this from a server event. So I'm going to again create a custom event and I'm going to call this server change wheel. So server change wheel and then this one needs to be ran on server and from this we're going to run our multi change wheel here we go and then we can provide our components uh, wheel one wheel two wheel three and the regular wheel up here there we go. Now, uh, this is obviously, this is for the multiplayer. I uh, didn't think about this because, well, often everybody keeps asking me for the multiplayer, 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 because that's what I usually do in my tutorials. If you are creating a single player version of this, then this can be a regular event. This doesn't need to be a server one. So you can just remove the server and set this to not replicated. And then you don't even even need this thing right here you can directly run these nodes over here and then connect the wheels like so uh, that's the only real difference and for the mesh what we can do is very simple just grab our wheels database and we can get a copy from this and there we go and that is our mesh that we can then use for our changing of the wheels. Now for the index value, we can use our active wheel index. There we go. So that's that. So now we actually got to run our change wheel and that we can do whenever we uh, use our mouse wheel. So from here, I'm just simply going to run our server change wheel and I'm going to connect this to both of these like so. There we go. So now this is going to work, hopefully, unless uh, we need to replicate these components. So let's change our players to three players and let's hit play. So let's drive them all together so we can actually see what's going on over here. Here we go. So now if we use our mouse there we go so the client does see the other clients and that is good so that means we don't really need to we don't really need to change the replication settings for the component I guess so I guess they are getting replicated right off the bat so that is cool uh, no the vehicle is jumping up and down it that one is acting weird so let's just try to replicate this instead because I think that would be a lot safer if we do so so now let's try this again let's give this guy the big wheels let's make this into a mr. big wheels and let's make this into the mr. small wheels and yeah, now the cars seem a lot more stable. Okay, so I guess it was a better idea to actually replicate uh, the wheel components themselves, and that made it the wheels more more stable. Okay, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it for for today's video. Now we can change the wheels of our vehicles during the runtime and it's very fast and easy uh, make sure you don't make these wheels way too small because otherwise uh, if you would get stuck on something and your body is your wheels are in the air and then your car is basically laying on its belly so make sure your wheels are bigger uh, as so that the wheels basically touch the ground like they should be in real world other than that 
uh, everything should be just fine so yeah that's gonna be it for today's video i uh, hope you enjoyed it hope this was helpful and in the following episodes we will change the other body parts and then later on we are going to be able to change all of these pieces not just running riding around like we are right now but in an actual garage just similar to what they showed in their demo so yeah thank you for watching hit that subscribe button support me on patreon join my discord and i see you in the next one